the Afghanistan donkey story. <clears throat> I think everyone's got a donkey story. I saw one of these dirty bastards going to town on a fucking goat one time. And it was not pleasant. And I saw it through NVGs. I don't know why that matters, but I feel like I need to say that because... I don't know, man. Seeing shit in night vision just hits a little different sometimes. <laughs> and... Uh... <laughs> Wanted to shoot him, the goat, and then myself. So we're on post, and we're like tired as hell, and we can't, we can't really um, do anything but like talk to stay awake. You're, you're like saying like dumb. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go do that. You're like you're just saying whatever. And we were watching this main road, and we we put pamphlets out. We talked to the locals. We told everyone like, hey, don't don't fucking walk down this road. Whatever you do, don't walk down this road. There's ID got people are moving ID materials up and down this main thoroughfare. If you're on this road at night, it's bad for you, right? Cool. Sitting there watching, and he's like, oh, dude, look at that. And two guys come out, two bros, two bros and a donkey. Military-aged males. Military-aged males, excuse me. Thank you. Two military-aged males and a donkey bros. start moving down Definition the thoroughfare. Bros. Yeah, it's, not, bros. it's not that unusual. It's like 130 during day in the shade, so they'd move around a lot at night. You hear fucking goats and despise shit. Despise the weather. Yeah, it's fucking nightmare. It melted a watch I had. I don't know if you guys just heard. I don't know if y'all heard that, but... <laughs> it's not that unusual. It's like 130 during day in the shade, so they'd move. 130 during the day in the shade. That's not an exaggeration. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's bullshit is what it is. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. Around a lot at night. You hear fucking goats and shit. Despise the weather. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking nightmare. It melted a watch I had, actually, like one of those fucking garments that would like give you like dope and shit. And it gets to 104. People don't believe this. On rooftops, if yeah. it's like... It will get to like 142 on concrete. Yeah. It's like 148. It melted yeah. my watch. My watch Fuck that could go deep to the bottom of the ocean. Whoever doesn't believe that's never been on a rooftop in July. Yeah. Anywhere. <laughs> and they'd put that on hell because that's where like Iraq's like the sun. And, yeah. Right. And then the ground's the exploding. And then there's bullets everywhere. It's a bad fucking place, yeah. dude. Not so, heaven. Though. Yeah, not heaven. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> um, but we're like Yo, talking. Yo, moonshine. You know, and, what's going so on? So we see these two guys come out and we're like, Oh, fuck yeah, dude. They're on the road. All right, fucking get down, right? He's got a gun. I got a gun. We're waiting. So we call up to the COG, the corporal of the guard, and go, hey, COG, COG, it's post one. Two military-age males and a donkey right here out in front of us. Roger, what, is he, what are they doing? And I'm like, oh, they're just kind of just kind Chilling. of standing there in the middle of the road. Doing nothing. Roger, I'm coming in. Fuck it. He comes over, and he's, he puts his head through the thing, and he looks, and he goes, Roger, yeah, two military males. They start doing anything, you, you fucking let me know. <laughs> and by this, so we're living in the same area where we have um, fucking... <laughs> the person that they just talked to on the radio, he knows, man. He knows. <laughs> and these two, they don't know. <laughs> you fucking let me know. And by this, so we're living in the same area where we have um, fucking Marines living because it's a small building. And people are like kind of moving around a little bit. And they're like, what is it? And they're like, that's two fucking guys. So he's on a 240. I, I'm on a 240. Like, we're, we're going to saw these dudes in half if something happens. Yeah. And they just stop moving. And so now more and more people are waking up that's, the whole platoon. That's not There's gonna like happen. squad leaders, team leaders, and, and all these people are like, what the fuck? You know, they're like looking out the hole and it's just like, all right, cool. What are we doing? And then all of a sudden they just stop, like dead center in front of us. And he's like, if they fucking like pull out any materials, you just fucking drop them. Cool. Roger that. And they stop. And then the one guy looks around. He he walks to the front of the donkey, and the other guy looks around. He walks to the rear, the hind quarters, and uh, <laughs> and uh, everyone's like, "What's going on?" I was like, "They're just standing there. One's the front, one's the back." And the first guy takes his shirt and he puts it in his mouth like this, and then he just starts fucking the donkey in front of us. So what happens if they pull out? He just, no, he just starts. He just starts fucking the donkey in front of us, and so all this, all you can hear in this room is holy shit. And so he is just plowing this animal. I'm so sorry, show. He is just plowing this, just slamming. And his friend, his bro, his, his obviously really good friend, has it. You would probably do it. You'd probably be really good at this. Has Hold him in like a, a joke. Yeah. yeah. And he's just like, he's just like holding the donkey right there. Is it like, he has the donkey in an arm bar. The, 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 the donkey's 
just like, <laughs> and he's just slamming it, and it's so he's like rubbing it. It's the weirdest part. He's like trying to caress it, like it's gonna it's like smooth it down. over. Like, it's okay, it's okay. okay, it's okay. And he's just he's slamming the ass of the ass. He's slamming ass and slamming ass, and then like everyone's like <laughs> looking at the lieutenant, and he's like, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, they're fucking donkeys, sir. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he's literally got him. He's literally <laughs> he's holding the donkey down, bro. Because if he doesn't hold that donkey, that donkey's gonna flail, and then he's gonna kick up, and then that's not gonna be a good day for either of those dudes. Um, god damn, bro, <sighs> this is a full on rape. <laughs> <laughs> the dude that I saw, the donkey he was fucking, it seemed a lot more docile for some reason. <laughs> Maybe he was already dead. Who fucking knows? But I seen it. Not. And he like pokes his head and like, goes, holy shit, I gotta tell someone this. <laughs> So we report up that there, there's a guy fucking a donkey, and it's like, what do I do? You, you can't just, you can't just shoot a donkey. No, being fucked by a guy that being coming. You can't shoot him, and you also can't shoot the donkey. You, my friend, now have the unfortunate pleasure of watching them finish, and that's that's all you really can do. Yeah, I got a headache, man. Ooh, ooh, that one's rough. Oh, way too, way too much laughing. Donkey everywhere. <laughs> Nobody would believe you. And so he's just slamming this, this animal, and like, and then he stops, and it just comes to an end. And like, thank God, yeah, thank God, Jesus. And then <laughs> now they try, they they fucking tag and then team. He looks, he looks, looks at, his, at friend, his friend. Your turn. And they fucking swap. <laughs> yeah. And so his friend takes the donkey because he's their good friend. <laughs> and then his friend starts fucking it. And I'm like, sir, please let us kill this fucking donkey. It doesn't deserve this. Love. <laughs> I mean, I just it's, it's the worst moment ever. And Gorskavis looks at me and he goes, "This is the worst birthday of my life." Oh my lord! I just, you <laughs> are telling me. The I feel like that's a better birthday though than what I had. I mean, yeah. So we all see it, bro. We we all we all see it at some point. If you've deployed, and if you didn't, you got lucky. You really did, but. For the most part, man, everyone, my first tour, we all saw some wild shit with an animal. At the very least, once. We all did. <clears throat> uh, it, it's just... And that's the thing. When you see it, once you see it once, it never surprises you again. It only takes you off guard that one time. You only have to see it one time, and then after that one time, it's just like, oh, okay, gotcha. Not, it's not really that big of a deal. You just become desensitized to it, but um, I don't know, man. Like, for me, I, I, I'm not in the... I, I wouldn't be in the camp of, like, oh, man, no, let's let's put the donkey down or let's let's put the animal down. I, <clears throat> that's a farm animal, man. And <clears throat> like I said, like he said, that that dude was holding that donkey. If that dude doesn't hold that donkey by the by the head, by the neck, then that there's no way that 1v1 affair is happening. <laughs> or that donkey's been ran through and just doesn't feel you. So it doesn't even realize what's happening. I don't know. But I don't know, man. As long as like I don't see this happening to a dog. Donkey and a horse, you know. I'm not gonna get in between that man. You're my size. The donkey's my size. I don't feel comfortable getting in between a man and his, and and there's an animal in it, you know. And the animal's stronger than me. The animal could kick me to death. <laughs> nah, you can have that, bro. I'm not putting a stop to that, and I'm not opening fire either. Yeah, this is one of those situations where your boy's gonna. Have some trigger discipline. I need to come on the podcast and tell the donkey story. And if I would have known that you were just going to ruin Shrek for me, I wouldn't have come. Dude, they did. Oh, they yeah. both did. They came. Jesus Christ. Imagine. Donkey. Like, I was just like, there's no way we're teaching these guys how to vote. Like, like, yeah, we're not. Their favorite activity. Like, if it was us, we'd all be fucking a donkey. Like, it's so Hearts and minds is not working.
They're out here fucking goats, guys. I don't think the hearts and minds is going to work. I don't think it has been working. I think that was a pipe dream. Whosever idea it was, you need to go work for another department of the Pentagon. Not going to work. <laughs> We're like, how do you guys feel about elected officials? I don't know. Do I get to fuck a donkey? <laughs> no. No, stop fucking donkeys. <laughs> well, then I don't care. Fuck that guy. I don't care who gets elected. I don't care who gets elected, but you have to pick one. I just bought my dog cake. Oh my and god. They left. That's the weirdest part. Is like they both they came out, they fucked a donkey in front of us, and then they left. I think they established dominance. So I think they own us <laughs> on some level. I just picture the donkey. Oh. It's like a movie scene. You have this dude. Yeah, maybe they. <laughs> I get what he's saying. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that was their way of flexing on us, like. Look what we can do. <laughs> Look how far we're willing to go. Y'all are just some fucking pussies. Y'all are just some fucking vaginas. Y'all can't do this shit. Y'all can't do some shit like this. If your life depended on it, you would not be able to do this. And we can do it just fine. But man, maybe that was just like their way of flexing on us. But I don't give a fuck. Y'all can have that. Fuck it. Flex all day. I don't care.